You've got to look your best tonight, you tubby little parasite Cause there's a lovely lady and she's waiting for you And though her pretty face may seem a special person's weather stream Before you get to see it, there are things you must do We'll try a tie and boutonniere of yellow or a rose That shows that you're a classy fellow with the posh panache Of Jefferson and Monticello busting out a mile with style I know you just can't wait to stare at all that luscious orange hair But boy, before you touch a single curl You must impress that ultra-booming, all-consuming, poorly grooming Down Syndrome girl On any normal day you reek as if you're on a farting streak Your fingers up your nose and you are dripping with drool But if you want a lady's love, you're better off by smelling of a gentleman's cologne Instead of sneakers and stool A squirt, a spurt of something just for Ellen And you'll see that she will find you so compelling And she does, because the only smell that she'll be smelling Won't be coming from your bum You wanna take that little whore and spin her on the dancing floor But boy, before you do a single twirl you must impress that effervescing, self-possessing, no BSing down syndrome girl. Her eyes are emerald portals to a secret land of love, and her smile is like the sweetest summer flower. Her kiss is so inviting, and her hugs are so delighting. And what makes them really nice is that they've got a little spice, because they're tighter than a vice, and they go on for an hour. Between the two of us, we'll get you on that shorty bus And then you're gonna take it for a whirl Now go impress that super thrilling, wish-fulfilling You who's spilling, ultra-swinging, boner-bringing Gaily singing, ding-a-linging, stupefying, fortifying As of Monday, shoelace-tying, stimulating, titillating Kitty-cat impersonating, mega-rocking, pillow-talking Just a little crooked-walking, coily-pouting, booby-sprouting For some reason, always shouting, fascinating, captivating Happiness and joy creating down syndrome girl Okay, Brian, I'm here. Now what is it you want? All right, look, Lois, this psychic nonsense has gone too far, so I'm going to prove to you that there is no such thing as someone who is psychic, and that with the most minimal training and the right set of buzzwords, anyone can appear to be psychic. Even a complete boob like Peter. Watch this. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm psychic, and I'm getting a strong feeling from you. Do you have a watch or clock that no longer works? Wow, I used to have a watch that broke. You see, just by asking very general questions that would apply to most people, a person can appear to have inside knowledge about you. I'm also sensing that you have a dead relative. My husband died of cancer last year. Oh my god, awesome. Okay, uh, I'm sensing some other bad stuff. My daughter was just in an accident. Sweet! High five! <gasps> You're awful! Hey, you don't want to hear the truth? Don't come to the park. Uh, okay, okay, you made your point. I get it. Maybe I went a little overboard with the things Estelle told me. All right, look, can we just go home now? Come on, Peter, let's go. Brian, I felt something just now, talking to that bitch cancer widow. I think I may have a gift. Peter, we were just doing a demonstration. No, Brian, this is real. I believe I am psychic. My first prediction, I am either going to fly or ruin that family's picnic. You've ruined our picnic! Psychic!